Tyler. How are you? Good Tyler, to Chad, you. nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Chad. My name is Chad Murray. And most notably, I would say I was on a TV series called One Tree Hill. When I was young, it was also you know, Cinderella Story, Freaky Friday, Dawson's Creeks, The Gilmore Girls, and now I'm doing a new series called Sun Records. Yeah, like, I'm so happy to be here. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Thanks, Tyler. Have you ever had an experience like this before? I haven't. Um, I am without a doubt a believer. Yeah. I'm, I'm not closed-minded enough to believe that there's nothing out there. Sure. I'm excited to see uh, just a glimpse of your world. Yeah. I've never seen the show. As a Christian, if this is the gift that God bestowed upon him, who is he to say no to it? I've not been privy to understanding the world and, and knowing what journey we're going on today. So I'm excited about the adventure and I'm ready to go. So um, sometimes I work with objects. They can sometimes kind of help bring in a connection. As far as what I brought today, there's something we've always been wondering about. There was a scenario, and I can't be too specific, but there's mystery behind it. I'm intrigued to know, as is my family, I'm sure. I brought two uh, things with me today. They together have the answer. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is weird. The interesting thing is I have these two that are coming through and they're coming through together. They're like locking arms to me, which is always a way of saying like, we're here, we're together, we're together. But they're like a big primary emphasis that I'm gonna talk about. They're having me bring up your, um, I think, maternal grandfather. Let me look. Yeah. That's kind of weird, but that's odd. Your grandfather, he's having me bring up... an expression of wanting people to know. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Um, there's this feeling of basically that grandpa would have said or verbalized something to people before he died. And then after he died, his words were changed. After he dies, someone would have, from his perspective, told a mistruth about what he did, his actions. He's like, no, I am not taking accountability for this. Okay. That's the way that comes through. This isn't right. There's something wrong here with the narrative that's put after. Okay, and that's a very, very, very big narrative. I feel like, honestly, just before I continue, a big part of why I'm here today is to talk about mom's side of family, your grandfather and grandmother, and that situation. And like, I feel like that's why I was meant to come today. That's without so, a doubt. That's big. Well, that's really the question. We want to discover what occurred, right? you know, in this specific moment. And there's only two people that would really know. And right. They've both passed on. Let's keep going. This is interesting. For some reason, they're having me talk about grandma. They're, uh, they're having me talk about a fall for some reason. I don't know what this is, like a fall, like I'm falling. Um, OK. Well, there's falling involved, but she didn't hit the ground. The speculation um, from the stories that I got from my grandfather was is that he was arrested for her murder. God, she died at 17, and she had just had my mother. Uh, she was found with her hands tied behind her back, hung in the basement. So there was a fall. Sure. Just, just in a different way. And then after that, uh, he was cleared. And uh, they didn't really have enough evidence to say it was you that, that, that did it. And uh, that's one of the things that we all want to know as a family. Did she do it herself or did he do it? Uh, the question is, is can we find the truth? Yeah, so let's see. It's really weird. At the time that grandma would have passed, um, There's this weird feeling of like separation, distance, disconnect. Like I feel far like away from grandpa. But they're putting me my, my symbol for alone, alone, alone. Like she was super, felt super alone. Like it's just coming through in a way of like, I am plant, like I don't want to be with grandpa. Like, and I don't, that in the way this is coming across, but it's like an excitement of like leaving or what this is, but there's a feeling Very of like, possible. I should have been able to stick around so that I would have the time to exit the situation. And how did she go? Did she go, uh, you know, like you said, because she wasn't happy in that marriage and she was looking potentially to get out and go somewhere else? 
Let's see what this is. This is kind of odd. Okay. That, that, that. Okay. What's interesting about this on the way here, before I got here, there was this woman who came through who I acknowledged passing away, like, kind of tragically. But it came through in a way of, like, taking accountability to some extent for actions. Yeah, there's like, a, it's a weird feeling. The female is placing accountability on herself in some capacity. And I didn't know what that obviously meant you know, coming into this, but I'm thinking that it might have been even her way of kind of trying to come through and say, hey, you know, this is something that I'm kind of putting more on, my, on myself. So I don't think he killed your grandmother. I don't think it's that kind of thing. This, right. That she, regardless of how she this made the choice, right, and there was there was nobody else potentially involved either. Based That's on what thing. I can see, there's no indications of anyone else other I, than herself. I, other than herself, and that's the one thing that really we've always wondered about. And you know, my mother grew up with a completely different story. She was never told that that's how her mother died. She didn't find out until after my grandfather died. And her father was one of her best friends. I see. So I think that that was obviously something that's a catalyst that would really harm someone. For my mother, I think that it, it, it really affected her. I think it was painful, and I, I can't imagine being in that position. That would rock your world to know that everybody lied to you. It's a catalyst that can send somebody into a downward spiral, and maybe you can't get back out of that spiral. For my siblings and I, we don't necessarily have a relationship with my mother. So, uh, you know, I haven't known my mother since I was 10. You know, that's a long time. I think part of finding out this was for her. Maybe she watched this, maybe she doesn't, I don't know. But let's say she sees it and now she can have that image of her dad and her true mom together, you know? It's a, it's a good image to give somebody. So they've, they've bonded and they're fine. They, I think, may have even came through to kind of talk about the circumstance because they made me feel like that's why I was meant to be here today. Am I allowed to show these now? Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So this would be, that's actually my family, that's my, my father and my mother, and then this is my grandfather, Raymond. And then this is the only thing else I had from my grandmother, Pearl, so. Sometimes it's important, I think, to put, be able to put things to rest just so that you can kind of move forward, and, and that's important. For us, it was a, a stigma, you know? And you don't, you don't talk about it. We don't really tell people about it. This is something that nobody really knows. And I thought, this is the one place that I could go and speak to Tyler, and maybe he could shed some light on it. And what I got from it was, I think I have more love for my grandfather now after this experience. Man, you, you, you do a great job, man. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. It's beyond grateful, Tyler. Of course. Thank, thank you, you so much. This is a God-given gift, because that's the only way that he could be able to process this, because it's all positive. He just wants to promote love and try to make everyone's life better, and if he, he's gonna probably just do this forever. So he's just a giver. And he wants great things for the world. I think he's doing what he's meant to do. Uh, I think he's pretty damn good at it. 